Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a kind of bookshelf reorganisation video. I don't really know how to describe this video. I don't even know how it's going to turn out <laughs> but basically I am moving house in five days. I'm moving in with my boyfriend so as part of that we need to combine our book collections and I yeah I thought it would be quite fun to film this and talk about the process of how we're going to be organising stuff because he has a lot more books than I do. I've never actually counted how many books I own physically. I think if I had to guess I'd say I have around 200 maybe? I don't know. I know I have a few books in the loft that I need to get down actually and check through but this is the bulk of my collection. I have my main bookshelves here and then I also have a car that I really want to turn into a proper TVR car. It's why I bought it but at the moment it mostly holds series that I want to keep together but that won't fit on my main bookshelf. <laughs> I might end up doing a little mini unhaul at the end of this video, I haven't decided yet, but because me and my boyfriend have quite a similar taste in books, we do have duplicates of certain books and it's not like they're special editions or anything. For example, I know that we both own the Robin Hobb books or some of the Robin Hobb books and because I got mine from a charity shop or eBay. They're secondhand copies so I might as well get rid of them but I'll let you know what we decide to do. I need to get back to work because I'm filming this on my lunch break but I will catch up with you possibly when I'm in my new house which is really exciting. It's nerve-wracking but I'm excited. <laughs> So it's actually been a few weeks since I filmed the intro to this video but I am now in the new flat. I don't know if you can even see the background, it's actually quite late on Thursday evening. We were meant to do the bookshelf reorganisation last weekend but the new bookshelf <laughs> didn't arrive. Basically Ikea messed up and sent it to the wrong address. I don't even know how it happened <laughs> but it's all sorted now. It arrived yesterday and Sam put it up <laughs> this afternoon so we're going to be doing the main bookshelf reorganisation in the spare room on Sunday I think but this evening because Sam's out at squash, I thought I would take this opportunity to reorganise this shelf here. I don't know if you can see that in the background but basically in the living room we've got this cabinet and I was thinking of doing a rainbow shelf. I don't know how Sam's going to feel about it because I don't think he likes rainbow shelves. I think they're pretty. <laughs> but basically we were talking about how we were going to separate the different genres. I think the the spare room is going to be mostly sci-fi and fantasy but then in the living room we're going to put everything else so contemporaries, romances and non-fiction and that's what I'm going to be organising tonight. So I don't even know where to start, I'm just going to kind of wing it and hope for the best. <laughs> That everything would be okay Turns out it's the other way I'm really tired by your sound and trying to play Don't so wanna live a life that I end up regret You know I never meant to hurt ya, hurt ya but I hope you know I'll always love you Love you so Okay, 
Okay, so it turns out I didn't quite have enough room to do a full rainbow, so I've split it across the middle two shelves. I was hoping to do a rainbow along the full top, but yeah, I didn't quite have enough room and I wasn't liking the way that it looked. So instead we've got random miscellaneous books and nonfiction on the top and then contemporaries and romances in the middle. And then I've got a classics shelf down at the bottom. So before we get into the main bookshelf reorganization, this is what Sam's shelves looked like before. <laughs> so I asked him to film this clip a few weeks ago before I moved in and before we started clearing out the shelves um, but yeah I don't really know what else I can say <laughs> other than this is what they look like so he has mostly sci-fi and fantasy and that's why we decided with the main bookshelves that we would try and stick with sci-fi and fantasy and then all of the genres we would just fit in wherever we could <laughs> Spring is the season that wakes me alive And fall is the season to contemplate life Oh, yeah. I don't know What is it exactly in this time of year That makes the melancholy me reappear Oh, yeah. Back and forth Through dark roast coffee Salt mist and sea Sand Okay, 
Okay, so I think we're probably gonna have to go in and do some last minute tidying because there's probably some books in series out of order. <laughs> but otherwise, I think we're done. I'll insert some clips here of me panning <laughs> all of the shelves just so you can see. But yeah, I think we're both happy with how it's looking. I think we've managed to get genres together and series together and we've managed to have some books facing out, which was what we wanted. We do have a stack of of thrillers and other miscellaneous books, so mostly thrillers <laughs> that need to go somewhere. I think we're gonna put them on top of the cabinet in the living room and see how they look there, but yeah. I think that is gonna be the end of this video. I am exhausted. <laughs> I don't know, actually know how long it took us to organize all of these books. We do have a big unhaul pile as well that I could show you actually. I still need to work out the lighting in this room because I feel like this is not good. <laughs> but these are basically some of the books that we are getting rid of because we've just got duplicates, mostly Brandon Sanderson, and Robin Hobb and then we also both had copies of Rage of Dragons so it makes sense to not keep them because they were just taken a room. <laughs> I'm also getting rid of my copies of Lord of the Rings because Sam has them in hardback and it doesn't make sense to keep both copies. I think if I ever reread this series then I'd probably listen to the audiobooks anyway. Sam also has all of the paperbacks for The Wheel of Time which he's read but I haven't and to be honest I don't think I'm ever gonna read them and I don't think he's ever gonna reread them so they were just taken up so much space they were taken up a full shelf so I think we're gonna get rid of these as well. Sam also had a copy of Shadow and Bone which I'm pretty sure he DNF'd or read and didn't like and I already have a copy so we're getting rid of that as well. I think that's everything other than like I said all of the Brandon Sanderson books we have so many Brandon Sanderson books it's unreal <laughs> but yeah I think I'm gonna end the vlog here can you call this a vlog I'm gonna end the video here so thanks for watching this chaotic mess <laughs> let me know in the comments how you organize your bookshelves and what you think of what we've done unless you hate it in which case please don't tell us because I think Sam might cry <laughs> with how long it's taken us to get them how we both like but yeah thanks again and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>